So the past two weeks I've really been slacking on my reviews, so this week I'm reviewing a brand new movie, it just came out this past Friday, so it's three days old by the time you're seeing this, and uh, that's pretty much it, I'm going to do a better job on this one than I have been, I'm going to be doing the new release, Legion. It stars Paul Bettany as the angel, Michael, Dennis Quaid, Tyrese, Adrian Palicki as the pregnant girl, and Kevin Durant as the angel Gabriel. After losing faith in humanity, God has pretty much just said, screw the people of the earth, screw everyone, and he's pretty much having an extermination of the human race. Last time God lost faith in humanity, he had the flood, you know, Noah's Ark. This time he's having uh, people who you'd think they're possessed by demons, but they're actually possessed by angels, and they're there to pretty much exterminate the human race. So the Archangel Michael decides that he is going to uh, try and restore God's faith in humanity, and he's going to try and protect Adrian Palicki's baby from being killed. Now this baby is supposed to grow up and lead humanity out of this apocalypse that it's fallen into. Now Michael used to be on the side with all the other angels and God, but then he he saw that that, that there was still some faith in, left in humanity, so he switched sides pretty much, and he, now he's helping the humans and fighting all the other angels that are possessing the other humans and fighting them. You gotta see this movie to understand that there's all these regular humans, but they're all just possessed. Overall, this movie was not as bad as some of the movie critics are saying, saying it's boring, it wasn't well written. I disagree. It wasn't amazing, but it was good. Personally, I would have liked this movie a lot better if it had a little less dialogue. There's just too many scenes where it's just talking and talking and talking. This movie really doesn't need much story development because you pretty much know what the movie's about. You're understanding it's, there's not much to it. So really, it doesn't need much story development, so they're just there's just too much dialogue and not enough action sequences. Fortunately, the short action sequences that they're that they have in the movie are pretty cool and they're entertaining, so that really makes up for what the rest of the movie lacks. I would give this movie six out of ten stars. Of course, if you want to make your own rating and you want to make your own decision, definitely go check this movie out for yourself or watch it online if no one's looking. I hope you enjoyed this week's review, and I will be back next Monday for another movie review.